Did you know you can dodge and burn your images using nothing more than Lightroom? Let me show you how it's done. If you want to follow along, feel free to download this raw file from the link in the description. And now let's begin. So with dodging and burning, we want to target specific areas of the image and make them either brighter or darker. That means we need to find a way to target areas. And in Lightroom, how can we do that? Simply by using masks. So let's open up the masking panel and then we have different tools to target different areas. Let's start by dodging certain parts. I'm going to start by using a linear gradient and I want to cover the whole image with this. Next, I'm applying the dodging settings. That means since I want to make things brighter, I'm going to pull up the exposure very gently. This should be a more subtle change. And I'm also going to bring up the whites because I want to specifically make the brighter areas of the image brighter. Let's go with something like this. Of course, since we're targeting the whole image with this linear gradient, everything will become brighter. And that's not what we want. We want to target specific areas. We will do that in the next step. Hover over the mask, click on those three dots, then choose intersect mask width. And here we're going to choose the brush. In the brush menu, make sure the feather is set to 100. So we get a nice soft edge and you can adjust the size of the brush by using the mouse wheel, scrolling up or down, making it bigger or smaller. So since we're intersecting this linear gradient with the brush, everywhere where we paint over is where we will make the image brighter, just like this. Now, what areas do we want to make brighter? We want to create some eye-catching spots, bringing more attention to details of the image, like the whiteboard and the foreground look super interesting. I want to bring more attention to this area. Of course, we want to create a line leading through the image. So I'm going to make all that white bluish water a little bit brighter by simply brushing over it with the brush. I also want to make these waterfall cascades a little bit brighter. So I'm going to brush over them as well. I don't want to brush over the darker parts of the river. I kind of just want to affect the white water here. And that's already looking quite good. Let me turn off our dodging mask so you can see the difference from before to after. This already has a huge impact and it was super easy to do. Now let's also make a few areas darker by burning them. Now you might be wondering why don't I simply use the brush tool and save a few steps without intersecting with the linear gradient. The reason for that is once I create a linear gradient like this, I'm covering the whole image. Then when I do the adjustments, so let's say for the burning mask, I'm going to bring down the exposure since I want to make things darker. I also want to bring down the shadows a little bit and let's raise the contrast. Since these adjustments overlap the whole image, the histogram will give me necessary information what these adjustments will do to the image. So am I underexposing too badly in this case? You can see there's a little bit of clipping, but that's not too bad. So these adjustments are all right. So in other words, using a linear gradient covering the whole image gives me vital information, which I need to fine tune these adjustments. Now, again, I don't want to cover the whole image. That means we are going to click on those three dots, go to intersect mask with choose the brush. And now we can make certain areas of the image darker. So I want to make the darker parts of the water a little bit darker. So I'm just brushing over them. And just like this, we can create a very nice looking contrast. I might even want to make the very near foreground a little bit darker to kind of create a vignetting effect. I can also make the top part of the sky darker by simply brushing over it just like that. Here we can make these trees in the distance darker as well, adding a bit more contrast this way. But I think that's looking good. Let me deactivate this burning mask. So. That's the image before and after. So with dodging and burning, we can give our images a lot more depth and you can see it's super easy to do even in Lightroom. We don't need Photoshop for that necessarily. Of course, if you want to be more precise and target different tonal values, of course, Photoshop is still the way to go, but you can also use Lightroom for the more rougher adjustments like these. All right, I think that's already it for the dodging and burning part. Let me let me show you how I finish this image. I next want to use the brush 
and let's set up the adjustments first i want to make the white water a little more interesting that means i want to add more details to it i'm going to increase the texture which will make it sharper and i'm going to increase the clarity a lot just to push the structure of the water and with this setup i'm just going to brush over the interesting parts of the white water like this all right let's also brush over these cascades that's looking really really good all right i don't think i need to add any more areas what i want to do next is to make the sky a little more dramatic therefore i'm going to use a linear gradient and i want to cover the whole width of the sky like this and let's make it darker by pulling down the exposure i'm going to drop it quite a lot since i like this dark effect on the sky all right let's also slightly bring up the contrast all right then let me create a radial gradient for this part right here which i want to make a little bit brighter to add some kind of light effect and therefore i'm simply going to pull up the exposure all right that's looking good and that's the image of the masking adjustments i can turn off all the masks so you can see the difference this was our raw file and that's the adjusted image much better and we only used a bunch of masks now of course we can still do a few basic adjustments if we want i want to change the profile from adobe color to adobe standard this will kind of lessen the overall contrast i think it looks better but that's just a personal thing what i want to do as well is to slightly bring up the blacks to fix the underexposure right here so let's raise them a little bit i really don't want to lose too much contrast but i think this is looking good holding on down the alt key you can see where the end exposure is in the image and these areas are not that important and also those are not that huge so that's okay i also want to bring up the whites just to bring back a little bit of contrast and then let's also adjust the white balance right now it's a little bit on the colder side so i'm going to bring up the temperature kind of fixing the colors of the image i'm going to aim for a rather neutral look like this we still have a little bit of blues left we're going to make them stronger in a minute but what i want to do next is to add some overall texture and clarity to give the image more punch and let's bring up the vibrance and there we have our blue colors back especially in the white water right here that's where we want to have those blue tones all right that's looking great then we can do some color grading let's start in the color mixer i want to work on the hue first now looking at the sky i don't know if you can see it through youtube but we do have some strange looking purple tones in the sky which i really don't like i try to fix these by bringing down the purple slider and what this will do is it will turn all the purple tones blue and thus we're fixing the purple color cast in the sky which of course should be blue and i also want to bring down the blue hue just a little bit further fixing this problem but with the blue slider we really don't want to go too crazy otherwise we end up with a cyan looking image but that's great at this point let's also head into the saturation tab of course we want to push the saturation of the water right here in the foreground so let me bring up the aqua tones a bit and we could bring up the blue tones very gently somewhere around here maybe okay finally let's head down into the calibration tab again that's just something i always do for my images i'm playing around with the blue primary hue and saturation that means i'm going to drop the hue which will affect the colors in a very pleasing way i'm also going to bring up the saturation just to give the color some more punch and that's it for the color grading now we're almost done let's also sharpen this image in the details tab we want to we bring down the radius increase the details of course we also want to add masking make sure to hold down the alt key so you can see where the sharpening will be applied and let's increase the amount of sharpening as well done and there we have the finished image i hope this little dodging and burning lightroom tutorial was helpful and interesting if you have questions or if you want to add anything let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video